We have a small gear emergency. Not a big one, but like a small one. I broke the door off because um, I'm stupid. I broke the uh, battery door off the rangefinder. So <laughs> it's not the actual door, it's just like the clip that allows you to take this off. It's not giving me any low battery warning. I'm gonna just pack extra batteries with me and just in case it goes dead, battery's dead, time for a new rangefinder. So this is one of the cool things that I like about Ultraview sending the metal backing for the tapes. I don't actually have to like peel the sight tape off. All I have to do is basically grab the replacement metal one. And then what I'm gonna do is stick the new one on here after lining it up next to the old one and going, yes, this looks like these metrics will work better. And then because they've got these big grooves on the top and bottom, I can basically put them in and then slide it up and down to get it like exactly perfect. So what I did was get perfect at 90 yards and I left the scope exactly like it is. No moving the scope. Take off the metal sight tape and then I'll put the new one on and I'll slide the actual 90 right in where 90 actually is. I'm confusing myself, but trust me, the metal tape's really good. Good move, Ultraview, thanks. Two pair of boots. Don't know why they wanted two. Eight pair of socks. Eight pair of underwear. I'm gonna wear one pair of underwear while I'm up there, long underwear, and I'm packing all that in one like little bag that's gonna stay at the campsite. That's why I'm bringing actual little like small bags for everything. I feel like it's gonna be more organized that way. Very lightweight rain jacket and then heavier duty rain stuff. This is another one where I may not take this out every day unless we get a chance to rain. Two different weights of gloves. Can't imagine, can't imagine. This is kind of a cool pouch I wanna show you. So this is what I carry in my like bow repair case. So I've got an extra release. I've got three broadheads, just three like extra good broadheads in here. They're mechanicals, Grim Reaper. Um, and these are, I think they're the Fatal Steel. They're the small ones. Then I have a bow medic, which is like something where essentially you can compress the limbs and you insert this bow medic thing that kind of holds everything tight. Now, Matthews has come out with just like a piece of paracord now that you can do that with, but the bow medic should work on everybody's bows. So if there's somebody who has issues on site, you know, I can help uh, if somebody derails something. Extra dilute material, extra serving material. 15 degree sleeping bag with pillow. Mosquito net just in case. Waterproof cover for my pack. Little butt foam thing in case we're gonna sit for a while. I'll just open this thing off up and sit on it so my butt doesn't get all wet and then I get swamp ass. Emergency like medical stuff. I have a clotting pack. Cause we're going to grizzly country, right? So like, hopefully nothing happens. It could get a little rowdy. I've got fire starter stuff, water purification stuff. I have leg splints. I have a severe trauma kit and I have a tourniquet in there. And it's all pretty small, lightweight. Kill kit with paracord, game bags, plastic bags, and gloves, and a good knife. Oh, this is pretty cool. Elky, 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 elky. I've got my hard case in the other room. I've got this basically soft kind of cam protector case that's gonna go on here. This is, seems relatively useless, but I'm still gonna put it on there. And I don't know, I'm sure I'm forgetting some stuff, but we're gonna find out when we get out in the woods. I got a bunch of photography stuff too, or video stuff, so, you know. Nobody wanna see that. Nine arrows from 20, 30, 40, 50. Wait, is it nine? No, it's gonna be less than nine. That's amazing, I can't even math. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 